And welcome back to the WHHI Daily News. With us now, as you know, is the solicitor for the 14th Circuit, Duffy Stone, with a very special guest, Dude, with Bikers Against Child Abuse. And welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Let's Thank begin you. with you, uh, solicitor. Child abuse and, and domestic violence. Um, family Justice Center in South Carolina. You are the only Family Justice Center Tell us about that. We opened, we opened ours in 2018, and the concept behind a family justice center is that you have all victim services under one roof. And so when we meet with the crime victim, when we meet with their families, uh, we have a situation in which when we're meeting with them, they have access to every crime uh, victim mm -hmm. services. That could be counseling, that could be emergency shelter, it could be um, anything from uh, restraining orders, any of that type of thing. So all the, the, the idea behind a family justice center is that victims should not have to go from place to place looking for various crime services, crime victim services. They have them all in one place. So we opened this in 2018. Right. Um, it's it's uh, in Okatee, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and it is, uh, it, so far we have served at this point over well over 2,000 victims. And, and unfortunately, about 500 of those are children. So, Solicitor, how did that relationship, or what is the relationship you have with Dude and Bikers Against Child Abuse? Well, well, Dude, and I'm hoping one day to learn <laughs> actually what his real name is, but he's not going <laughs> to tell won't me. Tell us. Um, no, the uh, uh, Baca, I think, is a really is an outstanding organization. It is one of the number of organizations that we invited into the center when we opened it. Uh, and when we did that, we opened up offices and we said, look, we'll, we'll provide the offices free of charge. We'll provide the desks. Dude didn't want those. He wanted parking spaces. So he has, <laughs> he has parking spaces at the Victim's Services Center. For his Center. motorcycle. Yeah, but, but, but what they do, and I'll let him tell you exactly what they do specifically for children, but understand that the children we deal with are there for basically one of three reasons. One is they have been sexually abused. They have either been there or physically abused, or they could have been a witness in a violent crime. We have had children that have actually witnessed their parents killed, uh, things like that. So, so right. this center provides uh, the victim services along with sometimes forensic interviews, sometimes physical exams by our, by our forensic nurse that's on staff. Right. Uh, but dude is a part of that, and he was one of, uh, Baca was one of the first groups that we brought into the center. Right, and actually the first chapter of in South Carolina of Baca, and you, of course, refer uh, children to uh, to dude and your organization. So sure. So then, we're the first chapter in South Carolina to partner with yeah. a solicitor in yes. there, and of course he's the only one with the Victim Services Center. So our role is to help the children to not be afraid. Sometimes they've been threatened by the perpetrator. Um, sometimes they just have fear that if they talk about what happened to them, there could be retribution by someone. So um, just associating them with with bikers, thousands, literally, we're we're a worldwide organization. So we have thousands of members and we have their back until they're 18 so that usually is enough to get them to feel a little bit more comfortable about telling their story um, in addition to that we'll go to court with them which is obviously a very scary place even for adults and quite often the defendants will uh, their attorney will subpoena the entire family which puts that child in a little room all by themselves mm -hmm. where we can at least come in there and sit with that child we bring games and puzzles to keep them distracted and, uh, and some snacks, and then we'll actually go into the courtroom with them. We give them a little challenge coin to hold in their hand that has Baca on one side and South Carolina on the other. Everyone in South Carolina has that coin. We all carry it at all times. So the child can focus on us and look right at us instead of the perpetrator who's probably trying to intimidate them with a harsh stare. So, Duffy, why do you think this is so special? This I think you, I think you look at the trauma, and I think a lot of times we forget the trauma that crime victims go through, and that's that's even an adult. I mean, I've I've been a witness to a number of rape victims, for instance, who have had to tell their story over and over again, and, and the trauma that that brings every time they have to tell the story. Imagine that person as a child. Uh, before our center, children were having to get physical exams in Charleston at the Medical University of South Carolina. So they were being driven two and a half hours, sometimes in a patrol car, um, in order to just to get a basic physical exam that is quite necessary in these situations. But uh, it was there were no other available ways of doing it. So this is all about minimizing that trauma and trying to give the victim the support that they need to get through the system and, and it's you're right I mean that the criminal justice system everyone's trying to help 
but it can be traumatizing. And so any support that we can facilitate to give those children the support they need, I, I think is a good thing. Very good. Right. But Both they've never have. turned us down. They've always right. they've always been there and they've always, always provided it. We, yeah. we always have enough members to take on as many cases as come our way. Very and uh, we get help from chapters all over the state of South Carolina and Georgia Very and North good. Carolina as well. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Bikers Against Child Abuse and Solicitor Duffy Stone. And that's a wrap for this edition of the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.